Hello and welcome to our video on drawing stem and leaf plots. We've got a, an example here. The following data shows student test scores results for two different classes. Um, it's the same data we've used previously if you've seen our other videos. Uh, one of the reasons we might want to look at this data to help analyze it, we might want to look at the shape of the distributions and a stem and leaf plot can help us to see the shape really easily. Um, the stem part of the stem and leaf plot is the tens digit and the leaf part is the ones digit. So this is how we set our plot up. We start with the tens column on the left hand side. So the lowest, if I'm just looking at class A, I need to put a heading that says that's the one I'm plotting currently. The lowest value, these are all in order, so the lowest value is 57. So I'm going to start with a 5 for my stem. And we'll go up in 10s, 5, 6, 7. So these will uh, refer to 50, 60, 70. 80 and I'll check my highest number is 91 so I need to go up to a 9 there. Once I've drawn all my stems in I need a straight line with a ruler and on the right hand side I put the uh, leaves which are the digits that uh, go to make up each of these um, data points. So the first one is a 57 second one is a 58. Now when you leave a gap here, don't put a comma, just leave a gap big enough to be able to see um, that there's a gap in between the two numbers. If you squish them too close together you won't be able to see, um, it'll look like 78. Uh, and you need to make sure for the following numbers that they are underneath each other in the same columns because it will help you to see the shape a lot easier. So we've got 57, 58, 62, we'll go here, 63 underneath here, 65, 69, then we go to 73, next we have two 74s, so you need to put them both down. filled in the rest of the numbers for you there. If you didn't have these numbers in order to begin with, it might be difficult to get these in the correct order because you do need to have these leaf parts in order. Um, you can make an unordered stem plot first and then put it into order um, in a second stem plot if that makes it easier for you to work through. I'm going to do the class B stem plot over this side. So again I'll start with my stems. My lowest is 50, my highest is 90, so it's going to be the same stems. 60, 70, 80, 90. Draw a line. And my lowest is 51, and it goes to 62. And there's my completed stem plot. Once you have two of these, um, you can start to have a look at the shape um, of each one. So if we look sideways at this one, it kind of makes a shape that goes like this around here. And we will call this one, because it's evenly on both sides, um, we will call this one symmetric. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetric because you've got four here, five here, two here, two here, and then one on the end. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetric, but close to symmetric with a hill, the top of the hill in the middle of the distribution, we would call it symmetric. This one here has more of our data, so it's kind of looks more like that. So more of our data is pushed towards the bottom half down here and we call this one skewed. It 
data can be skewed um, towards the bottom here, towards the higher numbers, and we call that negative skew. Um, or it can be skewed towards the lower numbers, so it would bulge out at the top and then not have many at the lower. And this would be a positively skewed um, distribution. The final part of our stem plot that we need to add is a key at the bottom of each plot. These two are two separate plots, so they'll need a key each. All you need to do is choose um, one number, so we might choose the first one, 57, and we write it out like it is in the plot, 5, line 7, and we usually write the word key next to it. Key equals 5, line 7, is 57 and that's just to let people know that uh, the stem is the tens and the leaf is the units column. Now if we take a look at this second example um, which is scores for a quiz for one class out of a maximum of 20 marks. So we've got most of these are in the tens so if we tried to draw a stem and leaf plot with the tens, we would have a one for the tens, they're all in the tens actually, a line, and 12, 13, 13, and 16 on the end. It doesn't really, we can't really see anything about the shape from this stem plot. It's not really a useful stem plot for us. So when you see something like this, or you might only have two rows in yours, it can be useful to split the stems up a little bit. So you might draw this one out first, and then you might decide to split your stems up a little bit. Uh, for this one, I might decide to split it up uh, going up in twos. You could have chosen um, threes or fives, depending on the data set that you have. So if I choose twos, you don't need to mention it anywhere, but I would start with one, and this would be zero and two, so ten, sorry, zero and one, ten and eleven, any tens and elevens would go in the first column, we don't have any, we're starting at twelves. Then Twelves and thirteens in the second row. Then we have a twelve, thirteen, 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 twelve, thirteen, fourteens and so 15s in the next row. So fourteen, 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 two fifteens, sixteen and seventeen in the next row. And there's just one sixteen. So you can see all the stems look the same, and you can still read it in the same way, but it's spread it out a lot more so we can see that the data does look fairly symmetric um, for this, uh, the way we've drawn it like this. If we had it drawn and we'd actually included all of the numbers below 10 as well, uh, there would be a lot of nothing up here, so this would definitely be a negatively skewed data set. Once you have a stem plot drawn, and I've forgotten to draw in a key here, so I might just add that in. Key one slash two equals 12. Uh, once you have your stem plot, it can be really easy to uh, help you find the median. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten data points here. So halfway will be between the fifth and the sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six, halfway between these two is easy, it's just four, so the median is four. You could use the data points to find the mean or the average by adding up all the data points and dividing by the total number. And you can easily see the mode as well as the most frequently occurring number. Uh, we have three threes here and three fours, so we have two modes, three and four. There's only two fives, so five is not a mode. Thanks for watching the video.